but there is no doubt that there is the indian system is built in with a lot of pressure and there's a huge amount of course and you know in, and not even the indian system all systems they have certain parameters and you have to kind of uh, fulfill them because the boards require it but at least in our junior school uh, where we have no such uh, diktat um, it's so wherever it is we try whichever class we try and make it as experiential um as non threatening um as fun as possible for the children um so many schools would consider maybe um exam results as a sort of parameter to see how well a school is doing uh but for us it's never been about the toppers you know it's always if we if we measure our exam results we see what is the school average and has the school average gone up okay because for us that would be an indicator of success if the school average has gone up not if one kid has got 100% indian universities um the traditional indian universities up quite bureaucratic and i mean my experience is of delhi university uh, they have very rigid rules uh, it's difficult to introduce innovative things it's difficult to get accountability of even the staff so it's kind of difficult to make some big changes you have to you have to stick to the within the framework and within the framework every college is trying to do whatever best they can and sort of you know um, inspire their children best they can there are some new indian universities like ashoka university or a kriya university uh, which i would say is very much at par with a good university abroad a um, lot of children uh, who either who are who can let, let just i mean i'm just saying it as it is who can afford it okay uh, are choosing to go abroad because of not just the education but the wider exposure that they get okay the other reason why children are almost forced to go abroad is the cutoffs in our universities is just crazy i mean like last year english honors was like 100% you know i mean so anybody who's got less than 100% is not getting in so sometimes kids are also forced to go abroad because they just don't make the marks that you need to get um, into colleges here and again it's a question of demand and supply i actually think that it would be easier to get into a hbs than a iim in the bag